Hi everyone, Slade Perrins here from speedcafe.com to preview the upcoming round of the Repco Supercast Championship at Pukekohe Park Raceway. We've got the ITM Auckland Super Sprint for you this weekend as the championship heads across the ditch to New Zealand for round 10. But first, it's time to catch you up on some news. This is Ryko Filters clearing the air. Now the um, biggest bit of news for you in between rounds is that Lee Holdsworth has announced his retirement from full-time driving at the end of this season. The veteran cited a desire to spend more time with family and uh, also focus on his future career in real estate as reasons for his decision. Uh, he was set to leave Grove Racing at the end of this year anyway on a, a one-year contract with the team, but uh, there was actually an option to extend his supercars career elsewhere. Um, a uh, Talk of him going to Blanchard Racing Team for next year was uh, was definitely rumours in the paddock for that. Um, but uh, but Lee sort of shocked us all with the decision that he will retire retire at the end of this year, as revealed first by SpeedCafe.com. Todd Hazelwood is poised to make a move from Matt Stone Racing at the end of this year to uh, Blanchard Racing Team for next year. Now MSR signed Hazelwood uh, on a multi-year deal starting this season. Um, but it's understood that uh, talks are underway to uh, have Todd released from that contract so that he can then go on and, and join Blanchard Racing Team for next year. That is being worked through at the moment and it would see Todd take over the, the seat currently held by Tim Slade at, uh, at Blanchard Racing Team. Tim Slade at this point uh, looks like he'll potentially be moving to Premier Racing for next season. Of course, MSR now turns its attention to a replacement for Hazelwood. Um, there's a, a couple of options out there with um, Jaden Ojeda, Declan Fraser, Fabian Coulthard, Zane Goddard, um, or Aaron Seaton are all, uh, all available and and, uh, and on the market uh, for next year. There are still unconfirmed seats at Brad Jones Racing, um, though Brad Jones himself has said that not much is expected to change there. Uh, announcements are yet to come or confirmations as, as so from uh, from Grove Racing on the two seats there um, and uh, who will partner Scott Pyatt at Team 18 is yet to sort of be confirmed or locked in although Mark Winterbottom is expected to uh, to remain and, and sign a new deal there as well as the two seats at Premier Racing they're still very much up in the air for 2023 so uh, there still could be lots more silliness left in silly season. Now we touched on on the Blanchard Racing team some more news from them sort of in between rounds is that team manager Brendan Hogan will actually step away from supercars effective immediately. Hogan was appointed as BRT's uh, team manager last year and he uh, is actually absent from the last round at Sandown um, to, due to what is now being revealed as an illness. Um, but it's also come to light now that he will not be part of the, uh, the supercar squad for the remainder of the season. Hogan will move into a new role on the automotive side of the cool drive uh, business which is actually owned by the Blanchard family and he's going to be working on a four-wheel drive suspension project. That of course leaves a gap at the race team at BRT um, but it's understood that Tim Blanchard and Matthew Nielsen will uh, effectively uh, split duties as team manager through to the end of the year um, for the rest of 2022 and then an assessment will be made on, uh, on personnel and what happens effectively for 2023 uh, when we could be seeing Todd Hazelwood at the team. The other big story is that former Formula One race director Michael Massey has been appointed chair of the Supercars Commission. Um, that was effective immediately from September 1. He takes over from Neil Crompton, um, but we had Shane Howard, the Supercars uh, CEO, filling in as interim chair um, in between Crompton departing and, uh, and Massey coming on board uh, to Supercars Check. So this weekend at Pukekohe Park Raceway is, uh, is the Super Sprint format, of course. So we're going to have race 27 over 41 laps on Saturday. And that, uh, that is followed by races 28 and 29 of the championship on Sunday. Uh, it's the last ever Supercars event at Pukekohe Park Raceway. So quite a special occasion. There will be uh, quite an emotional weekend for um, certainly for the three Kiwi drivers in Shane Van Gisbergen, Andre Heimgart and Chris Pither. Uh, they'll be wanting to uh, to send off their last ever home event at Pukekohe, uh, a track which is well in, entrenched into all of their minds from from growing up and seeing Greg Murphy win there, 
um, and all the history that comes with the track. So those three Kiwi drivers are going to want to um, send it off well in what will be their last race at Pukekohe. Of course, Supercars hasn't visited Pukekohe Park Raceway uh, since 2019. So the return of, of, of the championship to the venue is, uh, has an extra layer of significance this weekend, given it's the last round before the, um, the precinct closes in April 2023. As well as the send-off that is hope for the Kiwi drivers, we've got um, Thomas Randall, who's Tickford Racing Mustang, will carry a tribute to Pukekohe, and I'm sure there will be uh, a lot more that, um, that comes out as we get closer to the weekend as to ways that people are wanting to farewell the, uh, the historic racetrack. Looking at your Grove High leaderboard now in the championship standings, Cameron Waters is now actually 500 points back from Shane Van Gisbergen, who's just streaking away at the top of the standings there. Um, we've got Will Davison in third, Anton De Pasquale, the uh, other Shelby Power Racing team driver, and then Chas Moster and Brock Feeney rounding out the top six as we head to round 10 of the championship this weekend. So uh, really getting close to the, uh, the back end of the season now. That quite does us for our preview ahead of Pukekohe this weekend. Make sure you check out the RJ Batteries event guide for all the details. We'll have Mobile One Love updates running for you again across the weekend. And, uh, and make sure you have a go at the Super Cheap Auto Fast 5 quiz. Thanks for watching and, uh, and yeah, keep it on speedcafe.com for all the latest news over the weekend. Ryko Syntec oil filters are used by leading supercars team Tickford Racing on their Mustang V8 engines. And now you can get one for your road car. As part of Ryko's partnership with Tickford, significant production enhancements have been made to the Syntec range, including larger ports that improve oil flow and a thicker base plate for added protection against oil pressure surges during endurance events, whilst maintaining superior filtration in life. Syntec is a premium upgrade over OE, so ask your mechanic for Ryko Syntec at your next service and fit the best oil filter on the market.